Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Pistol Playbook. Oh my goodness! Look at this playbook. There is only four different sets here: Pistol, Goal Line, Hail Mary, and Special Teams. That's why I pretty much tried to stay out of these specialty playbooks like West Coast and Run Balanced. And I know they're not all like this, but the Pistol Playbook is pretty ridiculous. It has 25 formations out of the Pistol and nothing else. Uh, with that being said, though, these specialty playbooks always have a hidden gem in them that makes them worth using and this particular playbook i found exactly that it is out of the pistol weak slot flex this particular formation and this particular play got me so jacked when i saw it uh the first play i'm going to show you here and that's the uh the halfback toss week this play right here was one of the first plays that i put out in madden like two years ago in madden 16 when i started this channel and i thought that they got rid of it i thought this, that they it was so dominant and it was so hard to stop that i thought they completely Completely removed it from the game. It's not the same formation it was back then. I would pop a link um, so, so you guys could see that, but it would take way too long to go back through all the old, <laughs> all the old videos to find it. But it's a little bit different. See how the fullback is kind of a tight end. He's in, uh, he's in tight to the line of scrimmage. You'll see once I get into the play. Uh, but if you guys do know another form, another book that this play is in or this formation is in, let me know because I went through all of them and I'm pretty damn sure it's not. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pick that play. Halfback toss week. Uh, if you want to see part two of this, hit the like button. I'll do that because I, I probably. I got enough for two or three part series out of this formation alone. Now I put in my speed back. Barner is uh, one of my favorite running backs this entire game. He probably won't be an eagle next year. Um, as you can see too, I got my Super Bowl losing Patriots on the other side. So we're going to go. We're going to try to recreate the ass whooping that the Eagles put down uh, on this team. Uh, first thing you can do if you want to is motion out this tight end slash fullback. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like uh, there's a formation in the Packers where the where the, he's just kind of behind the line like that. I'm not really sure. It's out of the gun. I don't really remember the name of it. But um, for, for the pass plays that I'm going to show you, motioning out this tight end slash fullback is pretty critical. So it's really up to you if you want to keep that consistent. I would say if your opponent is setting up a play, it's probably good to just run it right away so they don't have a chance to set up their defense. I'm going to go ahead and move the ball over just a little bit. I just want a little bit extra room to the sideline. And then, like I said, I'm just going to rapid fire it. Just, just, in case, just imagining that realistically my opponent won't have a chance to set their defense up the way they like. That's about a 10-yard run there. Let's go ahead and let's run this a couple different times. I'm expecting way more. The blocking on this can be so legit. As you can see right there, look how that receiver gets off, goes to the next level, and I get that touchdown. Let's go. That probably could have been better there. I got to be honest, the R2 button on this controller kind of sticks, so I don't know if I got all the acceleration that I want there. I really got to get a new remote. Uh, this is costing me uh, quite a bit. So here, I mean, that, on average, I'm going to get five easy yards, but I'm really expecting more. I'm getting about five every time easy, but I really should be getting more. There we go. We get some nice blocks, a nice little clip block there by, uh, by Trey Burton to spring me. But look how wide Trey Burton gets. I mean, he really just gets out on that island in a hurry and just sets me up for some nice big games. Like I said, my dude's slowing down. I know my R2 button's not working. It's probably costing me some yards, but it's all good. So, like I said, here, this is probably a scenario you want to switch it up. Or, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can necessarily go the other way. But I'm going to try to motion out Burton here. Hopefully, he can blow that up. And he does. Let's go. And we're going to run right to my man here. Really setting up the edge there with the receiver blocks, man. That's really getting done. So even in going into a heavy blitz like that, with that free safety down the box, guaranteeing that he's going to come, uh, I still ran into it with no problem. I got a big gain. Uh, I also want to point out, too, that when you motion out this tight end slash fullback, I keep calling it, um, he's going to change his blocking based on whether you motion him out or not. If you leave him in, watch how wide he loops on this blocking scheme. Look how wide he gets a sprint out. That was not the best run. I probably should have took him a little bit left there, but it's all good. Uh, but you can see how he sprints out there. Then if I motion him to the line, he get, takes a more direct angle right in front of him. You see there, he just kind of slows down. Uh, obviously, I like the first blocking setup much better, but you can see how it works. So that's really unique to this play uh, where you have the option um, to uh, to control where your block is going to go, uh, which is not something that is typical of, of a lot of different plays. So that, to me, is definitely the best way to go is, is just to leave him inside. I, I find that when you motion him out, you can seal your edge if you need to with it, but I find that you get much bigger plays if you just leave him where he's at and follow him out. Um, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next play. Uh, the next play I'm going to show is the PA boot. Now, 
All right, this play right here, how it's gonna look at the end is gonna be a, a very similar look uh, to one of my personal favorite plays out of the Ravens playbook, out of the single back trio, I think is the name this year. It might've been something different last year, but either way, all I'm looking to do is put the burden here on a swing route and I can leave him just like that if I want to. I don't find that he's gonna get to the sideline as quickly as I want him to um, in this particular route. Um, but that's part of the play. There he didn't get there, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it uh, the way that I think is best. I'm gonna go ahead and motion out this time if I didn't mess up Jeffrey there, which I think I did. So let's go ahead and let's, I'm totally messing everything up now. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's, um, we'll motion him out this time and you'll see he's pretty much the first read in the flats. Um, he should get open in the flats quite a bit. Uh, other than that, uh, my Ertz, my tight end there, I can leave him doing that. It's not a bad play. He plays off of Jeffrey high and low pretty good. I can put him on a slant and he'll pull coverage across from Jeffrey and I can put him on a drag and he'll get open uh, underneath. So that, that's really up to you. Um, here, here we got, uh, I, I forgot to cancel the play action. That was my mistake. So that's an important part of it. I forgot to mention, cancel the play action. You don't want to leave the pocket. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll leave him there um, and he'll just be a pass blocker. So like I said, first read is going to be triangle. Uh, there, we're, we're going to turn up. Hopefully we can get that, that corner there. Nice throw, nice catch right over the shoulder of the Van Noy there. <coughs> so let's cancel this play action. I keep forgetting. That's a very important part of this play because you don't want him moving uh, folds off a spot here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue to cancel that play action. Here we go. Like I said, in the flats, he's going to get open. He didn't get the most separation, but he's going to get open. That's a first read. It's an easy read. Cancel this play action one more time. So I'm going to use the slant because like I said, Ertz, I really like that slant. So let's continue to use that. Here we go. Look at that flat. I mean, that's just, it's an easy five to 10. He gets almost 15 there. Every, I mean, I want to take that every time. Plus it's instant. You can't get heat on a play like this if Burton's beating that flat up like that. So once again, going to cancel that play action. Not going to forget that. Not one more time. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Here we go. We'll get that triangle route again. Like I said, I'm going to have that all game. You know what I mean, that's that's 10 to 15 right there. Once again, real easy. So I would like to, I think I'll leave Ertz doing what he's doing. Because like I said, he'll pull coverage against Jeffrey. That's part, part of his thing. And this is a scenario where the play action is not really that bad. Um, considering that you want to kind of run out to that tight end in that zig route. So in, this, in that scenario... That uh, I, I, I wouldn't say it's a bad idea to leave that play action because, especially with a mobile quarterback, in this scenario you're going to roll out. Ertz is either going to be open or the circle route's going to be open. You can see how that how Ertz pulls that linebacker out of the window, so that's kind of good. So we're going to run this one more time. I'm going to leave Ertz like he is, and I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to roll out his way. Here's a good pass block right there. Here's that man blitz I was talking about. If you get that man blitz, Jeffrey, if he's a little bit faster than been going, but if you get that man blitz, uh, Jeffrey is definitely gonna be a great play. Um, here I can see that blitz coming. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cancel that play action. We're gonna go to the left side of the field here. I'll probably have Burton wide open on the outside. And sure enough, I do. And we just get that guaranteed 10 yards. You know what I'm saying? That play is just, it's just a guaranteed 10 yards. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. A lot of stuff there. Go ahead and move on to the next play. That's it for part number one. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. Two really good plays. Uh, plays One play, which like I said, I thought that play, they took that out. That's how good that, that run play is. I thought that they, they deleted it from the game because it was it was so easy mode two years back. Uh, I'm glad to find it again. And I'm definitely gonna try to throw it into my custom playbook, but I tried to find it and I couldn't even find it in the custom section. So if you find the custom section under a different name, please let me know in the comment section because I couldn't find it. Other than that, uh, if you wanna see part two, hit the like button, I'll do that. And that's it, thanks for watching Mad Moist Shit Out.